Hey, I wanted to show uh, the auto parking. So the way it works is that you simply um, just start driving. There's an open spot here and you just seem to drive slowly past it and a little P is going to show up here. And when that shows up, all you have to do is stop and put the car in reverse by lifting up and then it engages it, identifies the parking spot. You hit start and it goes on its own. If it can't make the turn, which I don't think it's capable of, okay, it's going to stop. It knows to stop, which is cool. And then it's going to go forward. And it's going to go backwards and it goes dead center in the spot. It's uh, quite impressive how it uh, does this. It's just fun to watch and it's wiggling, wiggling. And it's going to get into the spot. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Now I'm going to try it again and I'm going to be a little further away and maybe further uh, past and see if it can pull in without uh, going back and forth. Okay, so this time I'm going to drive forward. I'm not going to be as close to the cars and I think I'm going to go a little, oh boy, a car's coming forward and I am going to go past after the P shows up. P didn't show up this time. Maybe I just, maybe you have to be okay, a certain. So I'm going to be a little closer, but not real close to the cars this time. Let's see if the P shows up this time. It's not showing up. Interesting. Let's try it again. I'll drive a little closer this time. Okay. We're going to be a little closer this time to it. <clears throat> closer to the cars on the right there's the P I'm going to go a little further than I did last time stop put it in reverse and hit start <clears throat> let's see if it can pull off a single turn It might be able to pull it off. Ooh, it stopped abruptly there. It's thinking. Yeah. It probably could have done it, but it decided to pull forward just a touch. And uh, it didn't go as far forward. And uh, it did it. Doesn't go in perfectly square, but I look pretty square when I look at the cars on either side of me. So maybe uh, I am equally distance between the two cars and straight or aligned with the two cars. Okay, so here's a parallel parking situation. <clears throat> We're gonna go uh, right next to the cars and then uh, when we pass this car, if we go slow with our brake, I don't know whether you have to t hit the brake, but notice the park symbol comes up and then you hit reverse, start, and we can watch it uh, pull into this parallel spot. Now <laughs> it's in front of somebody's driveway, but it is, in a, it is a parallel parking situation. And uh, it does really nice. I wonder if it's going to go forward. Yeah, it went forward a little bit. It's going forward a little bit. Getting, uh, I guess, in the center of the spot. Or That's interesting. It went towards the front of the spot. Uh, putting a nice... Uh, not a, uh, Putting an interesting distance to the other car. So that's uh, parallel parking. Hey, here's a parallel parking situation. So I'm going to try it on the left side. I've tried it on the right side. Let me try it on the left side here. 
So basically you go past the car and then stop. And it didn't work there. Okay, here's a uh, <clears throat> parallel parking situation. See how it does. Didn't pick up those, or it still may. Let's see if it picks up on these spots here. Huh. Didn't pick up, uh, there were two s spots open in both uh, areas and it didn't pick up to park, parallel park with them. So that's uh, Auto Park. Thought you would uh, like to see it. Take care. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see some of my other Model 3 videos, they're here in the top right. And I just created a new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life, for my pickleball adventures. Check it out. If you're interested in purchasing a Tesla, you can use my referral code and get unlimited free supercharging. Uh, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.